Hi guys, it's Siobhan the Dragon and welcome to another Monday Motivation. Let's get it. One of my favorite, all-time favorite footballers is Cristiano Ronaldo. He is arguably the best player in the world. Arguably one of the best players of his generation. Arguably the best player of his generation. And within the top two football players of this generation of the past 20 years is Cristiano Ronaldo. And one of the things I've always noticed about him is his teammates uh, will always talk about his work ethic. Carlos Tevez said this on Cristiano Ronaldo. He said, if it was, if we finished training nine o'clock the previous evening, he will be at the training ground eight o'clock the next morning. Carlos Tevez said that he, when, one day he went to the training ground an hour earlier in the morning and still saw Cristiano Ronaldo there practicing. Paul Scholes said that Cristiano Ronaldo left, used to spend two hours after everyone else was, after everyone else finished training, Cristiano Ronaldo used to practice for an extra two hours. And besides the, the gym, besides the, besides the football training, he has a very, very intensive gym routine, a very strict eating, eating habits, very, very strict regime. And it's led him to being one of the GOATs in all of sports. Today's talk, today I'm going to talk about the work that you have to put in. It's, it's all good to have motivation. It's all good to have motivation. Really, it is. But motivation gets you to start, but it doesn't keep you going. Motivation gets you to start, but it doesn't get you to the finish line. It doesn't get you to the end. Because there's going to be times where your motivation will fade off. Motivation only lasts for a few weeks at most. It can never last longer than that. Because motivation is tied to your feelings. Uh, some lots of my friends always say, "Oh, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that, or I want to um, get into this or get into that." But they always talk a lot. They always talk a lot, and they don't end up getting getting into it. Some of my friends have said, have asked, um, you know, have asked me, "Oh, I don't have the motivation to do this thing. How do you get the motivation to to do certain things?" and Here's a, here's a secret. You don't need motivation. You need discipline. There have been times where... Um, so, I started off um, going to the gym last year. And um, I lost about 20 kilograms in one year. But that's close to like 50 pounds in one year. Um, and... When I first started, when I first started, I had a little bit of motivation in my head. I did, I did, I, have, I had a little bit of motivation. But that motivation only lasted for like two weeks. And then what carried me through was the discipline of just going and doing something. So, I started and around week three or four I was like I started to get lazy and I was like at that moment I was like you know what let me just keep on going I said I was going to go three times a week at a minimum let me just keep on going three times a week there were plenty of times in that three times a week like every week, there will be maybe one day where I really want to go to the gym. The other two days, I don't want to go. But I push myself and I go anyway. And when I'm in the gym, when I'm in the gym, 
I'm there, I see all the other people exercising while I'm in the gym, I can finally do the exercise. And I convince myself, I say, okay, you know what? We're going, I'm going to just get to the gym, that's it. When I get to the gym, I do the workout. There are some days where my workout isn't, wasn't really good. It wasn't, I wasn't happy with, with the amount of sets I did, the amount of reps I did, um, etc, etc. Maybe some days I didn't even finish the workout, but I went and I did it. And I started, I was disciplined throughout the whole thing. You know, I, I made sure my, I kept very, very disciplined with my eating. Um, I kept very disciplined with um, my exercise regime. I kept very disciplined with certain things, you know, and um, slowly, slowly over time, um, I began to see results. Slowly over time, I began to see results. Um, first, maybe I started noticing it. Um, afterwards, other people started noticing it. Then everyone started noticing it. And to tell you the truth, I don't know when the results came. If you if you do if you if you do if you want to achieve something, um, you need to be you need to be practicing consistently at it. Because the first session, maybe you won't achieve anything. The second session, maybe you won't achieve anything. The third session, you won't achieve anything, maybe. And by the twentieth session, there's no you don't know which session it is, whether it's the twentieth, the fiftieth, you don't know. But a change will be evident in you. So there are certain things that you need to do. You know you need to do them. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, what that is, and might, that might be for you. But if you are consistent, if you are disciplined enough to say, "Come hell or high water, I'm going to do this and I'm going to commit to this," then nothing will be impossible for you. Absolutely nothing will be impossible for you. You might even be the goat at something in the future. You never know. You never know. Um, you know, um, Michael Jordan said that there are no shortcuts to success. It's only hard work. Hard work and perseverance pays off. Um, you've got to do the work in. There's no, if you want to do something, there's no shortcut. There's no, oh, I'm going to go to the gym today for five hours, once a week. Or I'm going to go to the gym, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym five hours, once a week. You're not going to see results that. If you say, oh, I'm going to go to the gym or work out half an hour, three times a week. And commit to doing that over a period of a couple months, a few years, you're going to see consistency. One of my good friends who um, is really, really fit, really, really fit, has a, a good physique, told me he took three years to achieve that physique. And now I can see the, ch the changes in me um, from, um, from working out. And, you know, hard work pays off. Hard work if, if you work hard enough, very soon everyone else will see your results. So yeah, remember, you don't need motivation. You don't need motivation. You need discipline. And that's what's going to get you over the finish line. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this Monday Motivation. I'll see you all next week. Bye.